Hey, what is going on guys? My name is oh my God, your head's gone and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Today we're going to be looking at one of the best solo money glitches to hit GTA 5 online in a very long time completely solo. So if you guys enjoy the video, remember to leave a like on it. That would be awesome. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe today to become a part of the Headless Army. So otherwise, let's get right into the video. What you guys want to do is make sure that you own two properties uh, that is required to do this glitch. And it's preferable that you guys also own a fully upgraded Zentorno, although you can do it with other supercars. You want to make sure any car you're doing it with is an actual legit one that you bought and not a duplicated one. So next, you want to make sure that you have three or four spaces available in the garage that you're doing this at. And then you want to go to online, go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos and purchase Purchase some Karen Rebels to fill up your garage with Karen Rebels. So uh, once you guys have done that, you just want to enter your garage. Of course, you have to wait for the Rebels to show up. And once they actually do show up, we're going to continue with the rest of the glitch. So now that all your Rebels have arrived at your garage, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you put your Zen Torno in the same spot that I currently have mine and your Rebels in the same spots that I have mine. So go to the back, go to the actual garage manager and make sure the Zen Torno is back at that spot and that all your rebels are lined up like that right behind it. The next thing you want to do for this glitch is go to the online again and then go to travel and transport and go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos and go to purchase any car. It doesn't matter which one uh, as long as you guys have enough money for it but you're not actually going to end up buying it. What you're going to do is get that confirmation screen asking you which apartment you want to bring it to. That's all you need up. That's why two apartments are actually required for this glitch. Now that you have that select property thing up uh, you want to press the left stick in so you get into that stealth mode and then you want to go ahead and push this toolbox at the back of your garage around your Zentorno and get it on the other side of it uh, it's actually really easy to do guys you do have to be in stealth mode to do that so remember uh, to go ahead and go into stealth mode and then once you have it behind the Zentorno you actually can push your Zentorno with it uh, toward the blue circle and uh, and that's the most important part of the glitch we want to get our Zentorno Torno over by the blue circle so once you guys have that done you can actually uh, click B now so you can cancel out of uh, the buying screen for that car that you were using to get to the select property screen now you want to go over to the blue circle and after you press Y to enter your Zentorno you want to hit right on the d-pad make sure that you guys actually enter the car you should be able to see in the background if you enter the car or not so if you guys do it correctly uh, the next thing you want to do now is just simply switch it with the Rebel. So switch that first Zentorno with the second Rebel and then you want to drive out of the garage in your duplicated Zentorno. This is the duplicated one. The uh, actual Zentorno that you use, the legit one, is now going to be in the second slot. So that is a very important to remember for the rest of the glitch. Once you guys drive out of the garage, just go ahead and drive right back into it. And now this is a very key part, guys. You want to make sure that you always keep track of which Zentorno is the original non-duplicated one. So you want to go back to that blue marker and you want to go ahead and switch the second Zentorno with the Zentorno in the first spot because we want to get the legit one back in the first spot so we can again duplicate it. So switch those Zentornos around. Uh, and then you can actually continue doing the glitch again. Now you're going to do the exact same steps again. Open up the internet. Uh, go to a car. So you get to the select property screen. And then go ahead. Go back into stealth mode. Move the toolbox behind the Zentorno again. And then push it toward the blue circle again. And just continue to do the glitch. But guys, remember. Every time when you do the duplication glitch. And you switch the Zentorno from this spot to a Rebel. The Rebel is going to be the legit Zentorno after. And the car that you actually drive out at first is your duplicated one so always remember when you're doing this glitch to bring the Zentorno back to the first spot beside the blue circle so always take the rebel that you just made a Zentorno and go ahead and take that Zentorno and bring it back to that first spot uh, because this is the legit one and we want to continue to duplicate the legit one so again I just repeat the steps one more time so I go to purchase a car, so I get the select property screen, I bring the toolbox in stealth mode behind the Zentorno, push it to the blue circle again, and then as I'm getting into the car by pressing Y, uh, I'm going to press right on the D-pad. So make sure in the background that you see you actually enter the car as well. So now finally, I'm going to drive out of my garage in this uh, duplicated Zentorno. I know that the fourth spot in my garage is currently the legit Zentorno, so I never want to sell that one. So I bring this over to Los Santos Customs. 
customs, I can sell it for $155,000. And as soon as I sell it, I can just go ahead and uh, call up my mechanic again and get him to bring me another Zentorno. Remember, the Zentorno in the third spot is the one that you do not want to ever bring uh, because that is the last one that we actually duplicated. And that means that, that is the legit one uh, because the actual legit Zentorno obviously went to that spot. And then the one we drove out was duplicated. So sell the first two, but that third Zentorno, we do not want to sell. And then you guys can just repeat the glitch again. So another great way to make sure that you don't sell the legit Zentorno is the fact that the duplicated ones only cost $155,000 when you sell them uh, if it's fully upgraded. But the actual legit one will cost something like $550,000 that you would get. So you'll know if you're selling the wrong one because the sell value will be much, much higher. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to leave a like on it. That would be awesome. Otherwise, subscribe today to become a part of the Headless Army. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Have a great day. I'm out. Peace out.